Hello, and Brick me here with a look at five rarest functions in LEGO Technic. In its four decade long history, there have been a variety of different functions, from gearboxes all the way to pneumatics, each function has been extremely revolutionary. And these are in no particular order, without any further ado, let's begin. At number five we have pneumatic turning. This function was most prominently featured in the legendary AirTech claw rig as well as the 8455 backhoe loader of 2003. The AirTech claw rig is known for completely changing the landscape of pneumatics and it still stands the test of time, being comparable to some modern sets like the Mercedes-Benz Unimog U400. In the AirTech claw rig, there was a pair of pneumatic cylinders that would be connected to two gear racks. So, when one cylinder would extend while the other retracts, the gear in the middle would turn, resulting in the rotation of the superstructure. This proved that with pneumatics, you could do absolutely anything. The LEGO Technic 8455 had a similar function where a pneumatic cylinder could be responsible for turning the back portion, but the mechanism was nowhere near as sophisticated as on the AirTech claw rig. Here, the pneumatic cylinder just pushed and pulled and nothing more, whereas on the AirTech claw rig, the mechanism was incredibly unique and worked far better, allowing for a much greater range of motion. In fact, the AirTech claw rig is so highly demanded that a sealed copy goes for well over a thousand dollars on BrickLink. If you're enjoying this video so far and you would like to uncover all the secrets of LEGO Technic, like which motors, gears, pneumatics, and more are the rarest, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. No pressure though, no pressure. Next up we have the three mode steering selection function which only ever appeared in just one set, which is the Klaus Xeron Tractor of 2016. The tractor featured three different modes of steering. The first mode is the normal front wheel steering which is something that we're all familiar with. The next mode is four wheel steering where the rear wheels would turn in the opposite direction of the front ones resulting in a much tighter turning radius. And the third mode is called crab steering which turns the back wheels in the same direction as the front wheels resulting in the tractor moving moving diagonally. In real tractors, crab steering is used to divide out the weight of such a massive vehicle on a soft surface. Having three different modes of steering in a single set is incredibly unique, and it's actually the main reason why the Klaus Xeron tractor is still so highly demanded to this day. On top of that, the set featured truly amazing motorized functions. The first motorized function would lift up the cabin, turn it around 180 degrees, and put it back down. The second motorized function basically controlled the whole crane at the back, with several switches all connected to a gear Box. The designer of the Klaus Xeron tractor is a genius, and I highly recommend purchasing the tractor as it is one of the best sets in terms of mechanisms. At number 3 we have adjustable suspension. Every single off-roader in real life can either be raised or lowered a little depending on the terrain. Well, why not replicate this functionality in LEGO Technic? In the powerful off-roader set number 8297 of 2008, this was actually a key feature. The car contained a distribution gearbox where the motor's power could either control the winch or adjust the car's height. To my knowledge, Motorized adjustable suspension is an exclusive feature to this set. The set was also the last Technic model to come equipped with these damper shock absorbers, which allowed the doors to open in a really interesting way. This exact functionality was also featured in the 4x4 off-roader of 2001, the Enzo Ferrari and a few others. I really wish that the modern Technic cars were more like the 2008 off-roader. Right now, we have the Ford Raptor, the Ferrari, the Porsche RSR and more, none of which have any interesting functionality. Those cars just get the bare bones of LEGO Technic, having just suspension, steering, and openable doors. Why can't the modern Technic cars have something like adjustable suspension or a distribution gearbox? The older Technic cars are far superior to the new ones. <laughs> Next up we have track tensioning. In the four decade long history of LEGO Technic, there have been only a few sets with this incredible function. The 42094 tracked loader came equipped with a variety of different functions, including track tensioning with shock absorbers. This set was actually quite strange. It did contain many awesome functions, but some of them are questionable. For example, why is there a speed transmission gearbox for the winch? It really doesn't make any sense. And it would have been way better if the set contained a distribution gearbox instead to connect the manual functions together and have motor upgradability with a power functions accessory box. Despite that, I think it's the second best set of the winter wave of 2019 
only after the remote controlled stunt racer. Another set that utilizes track tensioning is the CAD D11 Bulldozer 4131. Unfortunately, the set does not use any shock absorbers for the track tensioning and you have to manually adjust the tracks. Furthermore, track tensioning isn't actually motorized, so it might be a little tedious to adjust the tracks. Overall, I think that the CAD D11 Bulldozer should have had shock absorbers rather than have the tracks be manually adjusted, since the function isn't motorized anyway. The CAD D11 Bulldozer looks like an amazing set, even featuring a complex gearbox. I can't wait to buy this amazing set on October 1st. My review of the LEGO Technic app-controlled CAD D11 Bulldozer 4131 will be published on October 3rd. Before I reveal the number one pick, I'd like to give an honorable mention to the motor upgradeability function. Although this function is quite common and not rare in any way, I still think I should mention it since it seems to be completely gone after the introduction of Powered Up into LEGO Technic sets. The LEGO Power Functions accessory box was used to upgrade a plethora of LEGO Technic sets. The accessory box was quite affordable, being only $30 while containing a battery box, a motor, a switch, a pair of lights, and some LEGO Technic pieces. To put that into perspective, the LEGO Powered Up battery box alone costs well over $30. As a result, it is unlikely that we will get a Powered Up accessory box and so motor upgradeability may sadly be gone from LEGO Technic. Finally, at number 1, we have Fiber Optics, which only ever appeared in just two LEGO Technic sets. The Fiber Optic Multiset and the LEGO Technic Space Shuttle both had this incredibly rare function. Basically, there would be a light unit connected to a 9V battery box. The unit emitted light from only one hole, and the holes would be switched by spinning the axle. Thin plastic fibers would be connected to the light unit, and this resulted in some spectacular lighting effects. Specifically, in the LEGO Technic Space Shuttle, the fiber optics were used to make the engines look like they were actually propelling the space shuttle. The LEGO Technic Space Shuttle was actually the first Technic set ever to introduce a distribution gearbox, a function still used in Technic sets even today. On top of that, it actually included a micro motor, which is quite awesome. This micro motor could be used in many LEGO system creations. For example, the micro motor can be used to motorize the garage door in the Creator Expert Corner Garage. Interestingly though, the fiber optics were incredibly expensive for LEGO to produce, but at the same time, LEGO wanted to keep their sets affordable. The LEGO company actually ended up losing money when selling these sets. I'm sure that after 23 years, the cost of manufacturing fiber optics has gone down significantly. In my opinion, LEGO should definitely bring back fiber optics. After all, LEGO does make Bluetooth Control Plus hubs, and that definitely costs way more to produce than simple fiber optics. Overall, the LEGO Technic Space Shuttle still stands the test of time to this day. And if you would like to see my review of the LEGO Technic Space Shuttle, then click on the video right over here. And be sure to check out my video about why B-models should return. This is your Unbreak Me here, and I'll see you in the next one.